the Last Supper in itself is a very significant thing, but the drawing was just a drawing. You guys can call me dad. I might not look like that, but if that helps you with the situation yeah. or kind yeah. of like come yeah. to terms with things, I'm going to let bro. you call me dad. Bro, bro, on a ludicrous move, get out the I'll way. I've seen people go on the grass, bro. My friend in the last two years has gone from him to her to left his wife and kid yeah. to now talking to kids. Really? <laughs> Everyone here besides remember, Carlos remember. speaks no, no, the truth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to 56, the Disruption yeah. Podcast. Yo. Yeah. This one feels like a real episode back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like forget all that Nigerian chit chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was it. just, Serious. we'll see you down listening to you guys listen to Like, you know, yappa, 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 You should have seen it. We just got someone the whole time like, wow. <laughs> We back, we back. Yeah. Right. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this around. Yes, ma'am. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Olympics have started. Mm. Yes, sir. Yeah, Shall we start the court? Do you want to start the court yes. session? Yes, sir. Because I, I was asking Mal, I was like, how do we, what do you think I should do this? Like, should we start with court? I was like, should we do Oh, like we court start with an introduction. Session? We just did, bro. I didn't even say my name. Oh, 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 oh we did it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, you guys forgot about that. We thought it was a real episode. <laughs> hey, it's not the bag, daddy. <laughs> she falls <laughs> in the building, baby. This your girl, Mal Weezy. It's the prince. Ours. That's going now on. we can easy, start. All right, let's go straight into the Olympics. Yeah, we'll go straight to court, bro. Um, Olympics has started. Man, have you thoughts? Um, I missed so out far, on the so whole good. ceremony. You missed out on the ceremony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we were all together like not I think long it was, before it. Yeah, it was yeah, three a.m. Yeah. It was meant to be three a.m. Yeah. start. Yeah. yeah. So I think we sort of. I think I think we were out the night before. I think yeah, like, yeah, we had yeah. Conference, and then we were yeah. all out dinner, and then we left. It was probably like one a.m. We all depart, like parted ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I so. was up till about I think literally it was like two fifty six or something. And I was just like, oh, I don't care. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm the one that's like, I love Olympics, yeah. whatever. And I was I like, I can't be well. bothered. I just went, I was like, I'm going to sleep. I just slept. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to wake up to watch, but I, I couldn't. But so it's good, man. It's like three hours nah. long or something like that. Yeah, three yeah. hours. I mean, they typically like are parts, very long. Yeah. I think we were talking and I was like, I realized, oh, snap. Like, it literally is just the countries, the walking in part. Once they do all the... um. Theatrics. Fireworks, theatrics, dancing, whatever. Yeah. You're really just watching mm. LeBron yeah, James. Walking, yeah. Flag. Walking, yeah. I do think uh, it's cool to um the drip? like seeing who now nah, who's running the, the, flag? the flag. torch. Oh the oh, torch. The torch. Like, who's yeah, passing yeah. it? Like this, Zidane, Pharrell, all these people. Who, I'm like, do, That's oh, cool. they pass it to different people. Yeah, 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 like, yeah they right, do right. that. Like it yeah. goes because it's I think it's meant to go around the world or something yeah. like that, yeah. leading up to the tournament. That was what I think oh. back in the Olympia days. I swear that it used to be something like that. Like right. that I don't person, know if it was around the world. It would no, definitely yeah, be around I don't know about Greece, world, but it used yeah. to be an around something kind of, yeah. like that was a story around it. Yeah. And that person would then come and like- Is that what Snoop Dogg did? Is that what he did? I think for Snoop, the was part, so Snoop, Snoop was part of it. Yeah. He's that was so yeah. side <laughs> missions. <laughs> yeah. Man, that was so He's <laughs> everyone's grandpa, <laughs> yeah. bro. He is really, man. Yeah, Love that for Yeah, literally, bro. Have you guys been following up any any of the events so far? I will watch anything. Bro, so I was swimming? Watching, yeah, I was watching the swimming. Swimming? Australia's eating yeah. up. Swimming. Eating up, yep. Uh, swimming was, was, was good. And like. then after that, it pretty much goes quiet. Yeah. <laughs> as yeah. soon as we start getting to them track and field, Oh the no, um, ones, Matilda's, bro. Matilda's did well. Matilda's, they played oh, against I didn't even um, see that. Zambia. Yeah. Down. Yeah, and they won five uh, to six. Why don't black violence, man? Down. <laughs> so that, that was, yeah, five yeah. to six. Yep, so that was good. Um, Apparently, they were down. I remember this. Someone said that they were down. It was three five. Three five. I'm pretty sure it was three five. Like oh yeah. no way! And they went and pre proceeded to yep, score yep, another yep. what? There was like a penalty, a free kick that they got, and then there was an own goal as well. So, <laughs> so it was... this is one thing you're gonna get with women's football. Yeah, you're gonna get high scoring <laughs> games. <laughs> I am not a tech get, party. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> but both teams being high scoring. Yeah. Actually, is entertaining. Yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, that, yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's the entertaining. Because it means the defense on both sides is <laughs> shite. <laughs> off the record, you have a turn, sis. Off no, the you record, go now, sis. no, off the record, it was the most shocking game. No, no, hey, on the record, record bro. Just be on the record. No, 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 no just be I'm, honest. I'm, be objective. I'm not taking. No, no, I'm not going to take part in any slander. You're not taking part in truth and objectivity. Can I say? This is journalism. This is journalism. I really. Everyone here besides Carlos speaks the truth. Okay. The COVID number. Are wrong, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Side, side note: I've been saying a few off the record stuff, but okay, this one, this one, this one won't be off the record. But I had really high hopes. It was a good match. I'm not gonna lie. It was a good yeah, match. Yeah, However, yeah. 
the play wasn't as strong. I was like, okay, this is an Olympic game. You're expecting everyone to be, you like know, proper. absolute best but, and proper mm. and skills to be on par and stuff. Mm. I was a little disappointed. I hear it. I'm not don't you guys lie. also though think with Olympics sometimes that like the sport, I don't take it as serious too. Yeah. And I uh, feel like the players, it, I think it depends it on the sport. Like some of the players serious. don't take it as serious. It's a but nice- But they definitely are, but- it, Yeah, it's a nice, um, no, it's a nice honor, mm. right? Me, for my, I represent my country and mm. won this. But I feel like, Let's think about football players. I swear they take the World Cup a yeah. lot more serious than they'll oh, yeah, take. Yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? The sport uh, uh, within uh, the Olympics. Yeah. 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 Uh, and the rules are, you know what so I mean? That's, that's where it's techie. So women's football should be really high quality in the Olympics. Mm. The Olympics. Right? Because yeah. it's the same as anything else. Play the best team that you have in your nation. Mm. That's it. Men's football is you've got only three players over the age of 23 that you can have. Yeah. The rest of them are all younger guys. Yeah. So it really is an un, sort of like an under 23's mm. World Cup, right? Mm -hmm. um, and there's only 16, team for the, 16 teams for the men and 12 for the women's, right? So it's a very small competition. But like, because I was watching like the, the men's so far. I mean, so far I've only watched both Iraq games. Mm. Come on. And the quality is like, even like, like we played Argentina, we played Ukraine. And I'm like, nothing is like, wow, it's amazing. Wow. It looks mm -hmm. like guys that are young and still making mistakes. Cause yeah. it's, still, it's also like, they don't call up like all the stars that are under mm -hmm. 23. Mm -hmm. Interesting, right? Yeah, wouldn't do that. A lot of time they don't do that. It's kind of giving an opportunity. Cause a lot of like, if these Which under, like if a 22 year old, cause that's a, nowadays, that's a pretty normal age to be in a first team, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm. Um, so it's like, if you're playing for like Manchester City at 22, you're probably also playing for England. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? And so if you're playing for England, then it's kind of just like, ah, uh, you're already going Euros, you're already going World Cup, you're already, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, let someone else kind of, I think that's either. how the managers kind of look at it. But it's also fair. in the club with their contracts as well. Yes. They actually don't Some want don't you want to, to compete. Uh, but but it's, even then, because that's even what makes me even think like, even the club's like, hey, relax with that Olympics chit chat. Yeah, like, yeah, like, 100%. Yeah. Hey, focus on the real, <laughs> on the real the tournament. Real well, like, yeah, we've got Champions not, League coming up. It's, yeah. got it's not just that, it's also because like, it's an the player is an investment, right? And so it's like, because Barcelona had a player that, did I think at 19 years old, a couple of years. This was last Olympic. No, nah, it wasn't Olympics. It was Euros. He played the whole season of football in like, like, um, like National League, Champions League. Yeah. And then he played the, I would say Euros or World Cup. But that summer, that year, he played like 93 games, mm -hmm. right? Which is like a oh. game every three days, right? Jeez. Or a bit less, right? Mm. But then it's like that increases your chances of bad injuries because you're not getting course. adequate rest, all this kind of stuff. So I get it. When it's like, let's say like the Euros just finished and like someone's like 18, 19 that was in the squad, like let's say Great Britain was part of it. Kobe Mainu played all the England's games, went yeah. to the finals after he's played for Manchester United and then you're going to put him in this. It's, it's not it worth it. It's sense. not worth it for him as yeah. he should probably not want to yeah. as well, you know? But then with the women's football specifically, it's like you should all there hasn't been an international tournament this year, mm. I think, any, any of the continents. And then season's been finished for a couple of weeks now and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's like definitely the standard should be pretty high. Rest. <laughs> yeah, you have your rest. Yeah, yeah you're fresh. You're fresh. Your the standard what are you, what are you should be doing? high. <laughs> yeah. And I would say, to be honest, for Australia, although Zambia were in the Women's World Cup, but mm. Australia's a like top Meant to be four, the top. Yeah. top five yeah. women's teams. I mean, we top they shouldn't be the cup. winning six, five. <laughs> they should be doing 11 six nil. nil. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it feels like the, cause you're right. It feels like the team sports, they're not even taking it serious, but the individual. Oh, it yeah. means, yeah. It's, it's oh, because that's, 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 that's your whole that's four your years whole, yeah. for this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like, hey bro, four years. <laughs> bro, like there's something about so Olympics. I, I get, I get yeah. that. Sometimes when you're watching particular sports, especially let's even say the sprints, it's 100 meters, 200 meters, the hurdles, those kind of sports, yeah. <coughs> and you see, <laughs> someone's ready. They've done the pre, you know what I mean? The preview that the cameraman's panning across in there. You know what I mean? Dude, that serious <laughs> face, yeah. Locked in, bro. <laughs> and then it's like, all right, on your market set, boom, disqualified or something. Bro, that one? On your yeah, market set, boom, yeah. stack on the hurdle. Yeah. You know what I mean? On your market set, mm, walk into the next lane, yeah? Dog, what do you mean? Uh, oh, yeah. my <laughs> <Four years. laughs> oh, my course is done. <laughs> it's finished. Yeah. And even even like let's say everything goes well and you run the race, as Paul says, you fought the good fight, bro. Yeah. But you came fourth, yeah. Bro, it's been, it's nothing. In nine seconds, mm. your whole four years. Your whole yeah. This is the thing. Obviously, they have different events throughout the year. 
Yeah, of but course. The, Diamond, the, the, athletics, league, yeah, world, the, the world championships, all of that. World yeah. championships, but, but all, the only difference is that the whole world yeah. is not watching, watching that. those. Yeah. Mm. Right? The whole world is actually watching the Olympics. Ones, yeah. right? I think, the world well, it's also well. like, Olymp- when it comes to track and field especially, Olympics is the highest. It's the highest, yeah. I'll, you know? Like, that football, champ, yeah. basketball, rugby, they got, they whatever. Got You've got World them. Cups, cricket. Cricket's not in the Olympics, is it? And you, but I'm not even sure. You know, you know what it might be as well. Sorry, just even yeah, jumping yeah, off yeah. that with the with the basketball, football. It's like those are commercialized things yeah. as well. No. Athletics. It's not a commercial. Like people aren't. It's not something that's yeah. a money maker to go and watch mm. the Diamond Athletics yeah. or the yeah. International Championship yeah, yeah, compared yeah, yeah, yeah. to yeah. NBA or Champions League. You're less you likely know. to become a celebrity. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? I so, think. But even like take like skateboarding. Skateboarding got added to the Olympics. Yeah. But I think oh, yeah. a lot of skateboarders would be like much more gassed about winning at X Games, X Games than winning mm. gold. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. that's what it is. I think they're more gassed about winning that one Champions League yeah. than winning Olympics. More yeah. gassed about winning a World Cup than winning yeah. this. So but I'll tell you who's gassed. <laughs> South Sudan. We are. <laughs> oh, yay. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Oh, We've done it. We've when done it. Oh, we have done it. Yeah. And, no, so, bro, <laughs> Ma and I did a deep, in depth analysis of her heritage. Oh, She's indeed gosh. South Sudan. So I I have come privileged and honoured mm. to be sharing the celebration yes, with my fellow people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. South Sudan. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Come on, bro. Get me heavy stressed. Mm. Yeah, it was Why a very were you stressed? They were cooking first the, half. Yeah, in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we were getting cooked first half. <laughs> so we're, wait, watching, wait, we're watching, watching this. Nah, Puerto Rico's. Yeah. Puerto Rico's so I'm, I'm with Noah and um and really Mao all there chilling watching the game. Yeah, and then we're all making our predictions, or whatever. And I'm like, nah, like someone's got this. Noah's like, Puerto Rico might be. Nah, by Puerto Rico. Eight. I said they, Puerto Rico by eight. Puerto Rico by eight. Mm. They might have it. Yeah. So we're still discussing and saying da 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 da. Like yo, nah, South Sudan, bro. A wet bucket just goes straight in. Bro, it stopped us then in our tracks for the conversation. <laughs> we just look at Noah and say, oh, shoot. Bro, before we could even process what just happened, another straight away, one. another wet bucket immediately. I said, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot his name, Ar- 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 or something like that, because he plays in the NBA for yeah. Pelicans. He was, he's cooking, bro. Crazy. Mm. Yeah, he was serious. Good game. Man. It was right, a good I, match I, I started the game, like, I think, like, three minutes late. Mm. Yeah. The score so was, was zero, and then... Um, is that Puerto Rico? Yeah. Was yeah. yeah. Hey, I said, damn, this is a bad start, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, uh, come on. And then, yeah, that game had me stressed. Um, yeah. But, oh, bro, yeah. shout out to Jock, man. That three-pointer, yeah, he brought us back. It was y'all were there, Yeah, now so that was, was good. good. It'll be good. interesting to see what's, what's to come next. I think the, yeah. what I'm worried about is, like, damn, y'all, like, played a tight, close game of Puerto Rico. I no, said, wait, I said what's, what's hey. Funny, what's funny about that? Well, it's like, okay, I want to see if we got if America, Puerto Rico last year. No, like, I want to say, like, if America bodies them or something. Like, I don't know what the fixtures are and when, who's going to play what. But let's say America, America bodies Puerto Rico. I said, oh, I'm going to be worried now for... This American game because KD the sniper. Ah, uh, KD is here because this is the thing. KD was meant to be. Um, oh, did he not, not play playing. that other game? He was meant to. He was not meant to play. Yeah, but he got cleared. <laughs> 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 the first official, the guy got cleared. Yeah, shot a hundred percent on the field. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did America's Bro, first game go? Uh they played they who game yesterday? Um, Serbia. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah they won. Cause KD blew three three points in eight minutes. Yeah, that was KD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. eight minutes. <laughs> the guy came. Wow, that guy really bro, is a yeah, sniper. Bro, bro, he's actually a sniper, Slim man. Reaper, bro. Slim Reaper. The guy came off the bench. Eight, eight minutes, sat down, said, oh, yeah, my All right, hey, hey. You yeah. take over here, LeBron. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got hey, it out. Hey, boys. <laughs> have some time as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's a job. Ah, crazy. Hey, but bro. Bro. there's, there's still, real, there's still real, a chance bro. for sure. Uh, well, what? so it's only two that makes it out of every, every group. Yeah, I don't think anyone understands Olympics. No, no, no. So, so with, the, with the with the men's He's basketball, about to give us lies again now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No facts. Nah, this is real. So yeah, two teams make it out of each group stage. How many groups? And then I don't know how many groups. Yep. Be <laughs> no, I just know what it is. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, go yeah, to yeah, the yeah. quarterfinals good, good after good that, good and good then lad. there's obviously a knockout, and then semis, and mm. from then on. So we won one game. We need to beat either USA or Serbia. Big man that's Jokic. Looking good breath. Yeah. Hey, Jokic? Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be a tough game, bro. bro that's high and body. Pause. Yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> that's a pause. Yeah. So, man, is it USA we're playing next year? Probably, but that will be nice, man. Hey, like I said, we're gas, man. It's good. We're to- gas. Yeah, man. Olymp- uh, the whole world is on it. Yeah. The whole of Africa is watching. 
Man, it is, it's exciting times. That's a good time, it man. Is, but man. hey, man, someone needs to be held accountable. Mm. We need to take the Olympics committee to court. <laughs> <laughs> so court is in session now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if I had a gavel, I bet you. Dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, right now. You get me, bro. I must gavel my tooth with the mic, bro. All right. So there's been some conversation, I guess, around um, the opening ceremony specifically um, <laughs> yeah. of the Olympics, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't even see anything too tough, but I remember... I think I was watching, yeah, I was watching the swimming with my family and then my sister's like, oh, did you guys see how the Olympics were mocking Jesus? I was like, dog, here we go again. Yeah, here's here's some more overzealous okay. Christians doing some chit-chat and seeing the imagery and the symbolism, da 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 And then she's like, because um, she said it was, oh, they were mocking like the Last Supper. And I was like, oh, come on, I'm sure it's just a table and as soon as people sit in front of a table, it looks like Last Supper. <sighs> here we go. I look at it, I said, oh, okay, yeah, you're yeah, all right. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, I see it. Yeah, yeah. So... Opening ceremony happens. There was a scene. I didn't really watch the whole thing, so I've literally only seen. I haven't watched. I've just I haven't seen the, watched the yeah. screenshot. So I've only seen screenshots, video, like clip videos, like literally just one panning video that zooms out of this scene or whatever. But there's a scene where oh, um, I think they had a lot of yeah. um, LGBTQIA plus representation in the opening oh, ceremony. That one, right, boy. As well <laughs> as um, yes, yeah, so, like so specifically, there were like drag um, models and stuff. Mm. I think in the. Opening ceremony? Yeah. Hey, how someone help me, bro? Am I nah, saying I'm I'm, I'm, I'm like giving, am I giving this? Carlos Pence a walk, bro? Wait. <laughs> Have you seen the Rihanna thing where she, <laughs> she, she tries to include all the genders? Yeah, or she mess up? <laughs> wait, wait, like whether you're a guy or girl or like they or like what? And he designed some boxer briefs that both men and women and non binary people of all um, gender appropriations and p- the pronouns, everyone is included. <laughs> You need to find that clip, bro. Right? It's a train wreck, man. Let me slap. Hey, put that, put that down, put that down. Um, but there was like drag representation, all this kind of stuff, right? So specifically for this last supper scene, um, last supper scene in quotations, they had the models there, whatever, and then there was one person in the middle with that had like a halo, like a halo looking kind of um, like headgear yeah. on them, and then everyone else around or whatever. So, and then there was like someone that was a blue colored individual. Yeah, I forgot about that, that part. That was under in there. like one of those like a, col- a colander. What yeah. do they call them? Thing? A cloche. I don't What's know. What's that thing that you lift it up at, oh, yeah, a, at yeah, a banquet? Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's a cloche. Oh, mm. yeah. cloche. I think that's yeah, right. lingual mm. syntax. You get me? So they lifted up the cloche or whatever, and then yeah, there's some person yeah. in there doing up, you know, and they painted blue. Anyways, the whole conversation that came out around that is that people were saying. How dare the Olympics, specifically the France committee or whatever, um, mock something like the Last Supper? And and then the, now the discourse goes into the whole thing around like, why are people always um, have something to say or want to play around with Christianity, Christianity yeah. or people's faith in general as a whole? You get me? Mm. So, I mean, we can just go initial <coughs> conversation, initial thoughts, just from anything you guys have seen. But there's a specific angle. That I thought was very interesting um, with this, and I think we're on the same mm-hmm. kind of path with it. Yeah, um, sure. But yeah, comments, thoughts. What have you guys seen? And then let's let's roast um, some people. Yeah. <coughs> I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just cheesing it, at the like, sky right now, bro. It's. Oh. I think I always go like, whenever any of this stuff happens, I'm like, you know. What, you know what reaction you're, you're gonna get? Yeah, you like you know it. it, you really do know it. Yeah, like no, and, you can't plead ignorance. Yeah, anymore, and like they've released an apology now, but it's like you knew you were gonna have to apologize. Oh, they released. Really? I didn't see an apology. Apparently, there's. Okay. I saw some article about it, right? Right. But my thing is like, I don't, I don't get why you play with things that. For honestly, like, forget the spiritual side of things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like, I, of course, I feel away because I'm a Christian. A lot of. Muslims also like don't like it when people's religions are disrespected mm. in general. Yeah. Um, I think just a lot of decent people in general just yeah. don't like it when people's religions are disrespected, whether it's their own or not. But it's like, <coughs> my thing is like, it, pretty much that. It's like, why are you gonna, like, you, it's one thing to get artistic influence from something. It's another thing to like, tear something or, or remix something with something that that group also already has issues with, right? Okay. And on oh, both, right, both, right, both right. groups have issues with, yeah. right? You know what I mean? Like that, like, I mean, we can be pretty honest about it. It's like the whole drag 
kind of culture and Christianity doesn't really see eye to eye. He said yeah, the Venn diagram yeah. right? doesn't yeah. meet. Yeah, like there's not a, there's no middle. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and so like, and obviously it's a complex relationship between both and all this blah, blah, cool, yeah, whatever. But it's like for the average person on both sides, this one doesn't really understand this one and this one doesn't really like this one. Yeah, You know what I mean? And so for me, I'm like, this is beyond oh, let's have artistic inspiration. This is more like, let's, let's poke it. the bear, mm-hmm. yeah. you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. And I think that I don't rate. I just never <coughs> rate it when anyone does anything to mock anyone's faith yeah. Yeah. or, I don't, I don't or something it. that they hold a value. Because at the end of the day, like I'm one of those Christians where I'm like, <coughs> of course the Last Supper in itself is a very significant thing, but mm. the drawing was just a drawing by Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm. we don't, like realistically, these guys didn't all sit on one side of the table. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They're yeah. not stupid. <laughs> no one sits at a table like that. So it's like, yeah, sure, it's just a painting. But looking at, at the wall or what? Like, yeah. Right. yeah, but at the same time, I do think there is some level of sig- significance to it. You know what I mean? It's to what the image represents. Yeah, the image. yeah. 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 <laughs> there was someone that was like, um, they were like, <laughs> I'm just like fed up of all this. Like, why did the <laughs> Well, I don't know. We don't have to be part of everything. <laughs> oh. Who screened this? Was it a... <laughs> yeah. I, I love that for it. <laughs> but like more in the meaning of like, like why, yeah, yeah. why desecrate everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what mm. I mean? Like as in why is that the approach that's being taken? Because like, that didn't I, need to be shown or done. Like you, I, they uh, could have, they could be, the community, of course, LGBTQIA could have been part, part of, of it, the of opening, course, yeah. but like do something that represents the community. community. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to come and now, yeah. you know, be like, because what did the Christians do, bro? Like, what did we actually do? Everyone's, <laughs> yeah, everyone's sitting in their homes. No, no, no. Like, even in terms of like the ceremony and stuff, everyone's sitting so in their homes. What are you saying me for? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you're literally yeah, coming to someone's house, knocking on their door, and like trying to start a problem when it's like, you guys, this was your opportunity to have a moment and showcase something within your community that you're proud of or like you know being like okay this is us this is what we stand for you know all this negativity around blah 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 you know all of these myths or opinions that you guys have it's not true this is who we are but instead you decide to come and like you said poke the bear and try and get a reaction out of people and you knew exactly what reaction you were going to get you know it's it's very interesting because i think we or the way i look at it's like we do a lot of programs and if you're gonna touch on a particular topic, what you normally do is consult with someone from that community to be like, hey, by the way, we are gonna be doing this. Does this make sense? Mm. What are your thoughts on that? Mm. You know, even when we did Amari, because we're doing it in the middle of Ramadan as well. Yeah. So yeah. we're like, okay, cool. Um, how do we allow this to yeah, be accessible? How can we still allow it's not hard to be decent. Yeah. Exactly right. <laughs> we jump on a call, we get a representative, talk to them, try to get them to, hey, how can we make this? For everyone, for the Muslims to still come and enjoy. It's like, okay, cool. What about we do prayers here? We'll do this. All right, cool. That makes sense. So I would assume on a, on that level, not just Olympics, but just generally, Any that you would go off and consult with someone from that. Yes. To be like, hey, because everyone knows, they, they know that this is yes. in relation to Christianity. This is right. in relation to the Last Supper, right? Yeah. Wouldn't you just pick up a phone and say, hey, this is what we're thinking of doing. Can you come have a look? Mm-hmm. Want to get your thoughts? Want to get your ideas on? if this is okay to go ahead. Mm. Just as simple as that. Mm. But apparently not. <laughs> uh, so I don't, I don't, yeah, for me, it's, I, I think they're just trying to get a reaction. Yeah. With a lot of yeah. these things, mm. you know, because um, when there is no, because I think last time we spoke about it a little bit, we spoke about why the 100 meter sprints or the athletics is not as exciting anymore. But I think the conclusion we all came down to was there is no, Theatrics. there is no character. Yeah. There is no this for someone wins, yeah. right? So I don't know if this is a way of trying to add excitement mm. or bring attention to it. And I think that's definitely a way yeah. of everyone looking at this and say, what is going on? Regardless if it's a bad or good or bad image, ultimately they know what they're doing. Yeah. You know, even going back to what H&M did a while ago, going back to, I think, I forgot what Balenciaga. The Balenciaga stuff as mm. well. The runway with the upside down cross, all yeah. that. But <clears throat> guess what? It got our attention, got us talking. Yeah. yeah. Right. Ultimately that could be what they wanted. Yeah. So, so, you know. I th- I think generally the French are not very respectful of anyone's religion. Mm. So like, because even for their Olympic team, they've banned any athletes that normally wear hijab. Yeah, yeah, that's like they're not allowing, right? hijab So they don't well, really yeah. 
care for the respect when it comes to that kind of stuff. Uh, but also like French culture in general. I mean, I don't know if you guys remember like the, I think it was Charlie Hebdo when it was all the comics about the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. And obviously that resulted in quite a bit of there was some retaliation, retaliation to call it light. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's like, That's I think I honestly, because I don't know where any of this stuff is in terms of, is it calculated? Is it sinister? Is it this? Is it yeah. that? And I'm like, could it literally just be on a on a vibe of literally? Um, oh, we said f them. Uh, we we'll also f you too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just to, yeah, just yeah. to make you guys realize it. it's f everyone. You know what I mean? That guy. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I I, I think that we can't ever get to the understanding of is it calculated? Is it in, is it yeah. um, what is it sinister? But we can always know it's intentional. I think hundred percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Start with knowing things are intentional. Yeah, I think when I looked at this, and even when my sisters tell me, my initial reaction, yeah. Um, was not one of like, hey man, where are the torches and the pitchforks, dog? We need to we need to scream and yell. And I was like, oh, okay. Why? What? I was like, okay, do I need to be um, outraged by this or, or s- <clears throat> no to the outrage by this? But yes to being sensitive towards it, right? So, <laughs> so what makes me laugh, right, is what I some of the stuff that I started seeing online. So I remember I saw on someone's story and. This is not someone that I ever see. Again, social media doesn't tell us everything about people's lives, but it's not someone that I ever see post about. Um, oh, my young adult session was great this week, or come down and check. This There's no the evidence church. of them being. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like a, again, I don't want to. I don't want to <clears throat> hold social media to be yeah, that um, the reality of your the life. reality of your life. But if a lot of your life is shown on social media, and this is meant to be a part of your life, at least let me see that come Someone, out through it as yeah. well. I've never seen any of this on the socials yet. And, and even in the story that I'm about to say, it's evident of that, right? So this person puts up a screenshot from the scene of the opening ceremony. Right. And it's a bigger, it's a bigger like woman like that's front and center, the one that has that headgear on. Yeah. And he's like, um, his comment was like, you will never be Jesus, you fat. And I, I, I literally was next yeah. to you, wasn't I? Like you, it, obviously he said the full word, the full expletive. Put a li- nice, I'll put a nice little beep over it so it sounds like I actually said it. <laughs> but, he's, but he's like, you never beat Jesus, you fat. Mm, you know what I'm saying? And I showed Mao, I was like, hey, come, somebody come and take a look at this. I said, please tell me how counterproductive yeah. this is right here. I was like, how are you? True statement. Yeah. <laughs> it is a true st- like, it is, it is it a is factual a statement. Objectively yeah. factual, objectively factual statement. Factual statement. <laughs> But I was looking at that, I was like, isn't this so yeah. evident yes. of the outrage that comes out from clearly the wrong place? Like, yeah. and it goes into what you're saying about like, I mean, I don't know if you want to say it because it was a nice, oh, it was a nice phrase, but I think you mentioned something around like the typical people that are like the most outraged or are screaming vocal. the most or, or yeah. vocal about this are the ones that take Christianity as like, a, this is my time to rep the set yeah. kind of moment, yeah. you know? Yeah. So you have these things that pop up and you're like, I am outraged, pitchforks, da, da, da. how dare they, da, 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 da. and you're riffing, you know? Yeah, I, I always sit in this weird place because I'm like, I think the reason this stuff can happen a lot with Christians is because like, we're pretty, in general, it's like, don't. The meek shall inherit the earth. Yes, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, as in like, don't, Fight back, don't this, don't that. But I do believe in righteous anger. And I sometimes righteous I'm like, indignation. I'm like, I, sometimes they, it's catch they, the hand they, and there not is give a the part other of like, at the end of the day, this yeah. is my set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do have to rep. And I like, some of us are just younger in this set. Yeah. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And so it's like, sure, they're repping it maybe a little bit too crazy. Right, there might be rules to this. They don't get it yet. <laughs> yeah, right. But, but if, if the commander say, "Hey, if we apologize," now what are we meant to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right? On a on a Christianity, we got we got we got go like this. For a pitchfork and cross in hand. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, all right. uh, okay. Hey, what do you do? <laughs> but uh, but I think the, the, <laughs> it's a techie one because it's yeah. like, how much can I allow for me and my people to be taken as fools? Mm. You know what I mean? Because no, it's not every time punch in the face. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I guess so. And which is contra- like not contradictory because it's like obviously you've got the scripture where Jesus says, you know, give the other cheek, turn the other cheek yeah. seven times, seventy times. You know, all seven this kind of stuff. Forgive, blah yeah. blah. Right. But it's like also there's the v- scriptures about like be as um, gentle as doves, as mm. cunning as vipers. Right. Yeah. So it's like there is a level of like, yo, you also need to stand on something. Like it has to be clear to people that like. I cannot be pushed. Now, obviously, like, in our beliefs and what we know, it's like that 
this is not going to stop. It's never going to stop. But it's like, that. I don't think that means that I should just be like, ah, oh, it is what it is. Mm. I, I mm. think that's why people tend to get away with it. And that's why this is not the, I promise you, this is not yeah. the last time we're going to no, do it. No, definitely not the last It's not going to be the last time, right? It's because how do we all react to it? Ultimately, we just turn around and say, uh, you know, yeah. they apologize and say, all right, cool. And then done. But clearly they got the reaction. Then another thing will happen down the track. It could be a completely different event. Who knows, right? Yeah. And then we go, oh, okay, all good, yeah. right? How do you even fight back? Mm. Yeah. You know, yeah. can we all come together and try to cancel? I don't know, you know? In line with that. It, it, it becomes very no, hard to I will not watch something that mocks my savior. Uh, so bro, 10 a.m. <laughs> on a 10 a.m. nice and bright. Um, bro, like you know, I'm Monday not, morning. I, I don't want to support the Olympics, but my people are also playing the basketball. Dog, listen to this. <laughs> no, listen, one of my friends, shout out to you, dog. One of our friends even, he hits me up. He's like, morning, bro. What's your take on the opening ceremony? That was, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, okay. I was like, what's going on, bro? Um, I didn't watch it properly and I've only seen some photos and clips, but it's nothing new in the world for real. I think it's hard to say it's a coincidence though, right? Yeah. It's like facts, man. But he's like, yo, but if you're a Christian and you decide to continue watching the Olympics after all that, what does that say about your faith? I said, hmm, okay, okay, okay. Contentious. Moment. I see what you're saying. But I was like, uh, honestly, I think it's up to individual conviction because yes. I'm like, because I can say the same thing for movies, clothing brands mm. and music, et cetera. I'm like, if you're looking, if you're moving like this in every single angle, you're going to be moving scary and frigid, bro. You're going to, what's, what's, this is a stupid um, connection. But you know when, um, I think it's Day Day when he greens out on Friday and he's shivering, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> shaking like that, having his, yeah, having his yeah. green out moment. That's how you're going to be trembling and moving when you're looking in every angle, scared of everything. So I'm like, this is up to individual conviction. Not no, like people are now on a vibe of like, because I was even on a call with someone and they were like, um, da, 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 opening ceremony, oh, I'm the Olympics, no one even watching that, cancel that. I was like, what are you? It's like, <laughs> Relax. <laughs> You're not gonna watch the basketball. No bang didn't do anything. Funny <laughs> <laughs> Kwani, he's my guy. Yeah, so like my thing was like individual conviction for sure. Cause if someone if you like you feel that within you on a like I can't I can't actually watch this because of what has happened. Hold that righteousness for you, but it's like that's not a mandate on other people for sure. But it, it still comes down mm. to the conversation around, okay, how do you how are you actually meant to navigate things like this. And we can expand this to now other people who have um, other faiths as well, or even just yeah. things that you, like causes that you support too. Like yeah. how are you meant to now react when it's like, this is something you care about mm. and you hold it dear and you're meant to rep the set, but what is that balance? I think it's a little bit different specifically in Christianity just because of that nature of the yeah. gentleness, yeah. the meekness, mm. whatever, but it also doesn't mean doormat walk all over. But what's that balance like, you know? I, I think, yeah. yeah, are we, are we <laughs> what, boycott Olympics? Don't watch it. What is but that, you know what I mean? The boycott thing doesn't make sense to me because it's like the Olympics at its root, like prior to the modern Olympics, was literally a bunch of naked Greek guys who would then go and pipe little boys. Oh, man. Like, no, like this was literally part of the games, right? Like that was the, mm. like everything was done naked and then it's like, let's do this. And then we're all serving Zeus and this and that. And Zeus is part of the games and all this kind of stuff. So it's like, no, this is not a Christian event, mm. right? And it's like, if you really are opposed to something, then it's foundations have always been yeah. very questionable yeah. to what you believe. You know what I mean? But like, very true. you don't hold on to it like that. I think for me, the way I see it, I'm like, you are offended because of this and that's fine. But as a Christian, it's almost like, me being offended is okay. It is better, is more important that I care about people, right? Mm. So it's like, if you're like, ah, I can't do the whole, and this leads into the whole, you can't move scary, scary forever because mm. it's like, how many hills can you die on, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's like, if I find I have more like anger and frustration and energy to take out on the Olympics for doing this, as opposed to, <clears throat> places in the world where children are dying and I don't, you know, boycott things that might be supporting and aiding those mm -hmm. things, then it's like, well, maybe you need to check your convictions a little yeah. bit. On but, may, but maybe it's not anger. It's just like anything that doesn't fall in line with my faith, I'm not going to contribute. Or that's fair. I hear it. Do you that's know? Fair. I hear it. I'm not against that. Because to be honest, even with our conference, that's what Pastor Peter was also yeah. saying. I right? fully actually yeah, yeah, He yeah. was For talking sure. about watching a movie and then, you know, because the movies are like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And then, it, you know, his conviction is like, I can't sit through here. Yeah. I, I can't yeah. sit, and watch sit this. through that and watch that. So mm. every time a scene like that would come yeah. up, he would actually just walk out yeah. the, uh, the, the room and then maybe come back after yeah. that scene is done. So for him, it's like, I can't, 
be like, why are you saying it? Why, you know, why do you say this is good? You know what I mean? Yeah. Why do you have to say it like that? And why are you always saying it in negative connotation as of, well? Yeah. Right? I hear you, it. You're always saying it in like when something bad happens, right? Not when something good is happening in their life, right? So I, I guess, yeah. So in that situation, it's where, you, where, where is that balance? Can you, does it get applied everywhere, right? The Olympics, mm. movies, music. Um, and don't, you know, to be honest, there can be a bunch of other stuff as well. I think that's why I hear the check your <coughs> conviction thing because yeah. it's like, okay, yeah, from what route does this actually like come from? Is this your? Yeah. It's it's almost like oh, I don't want to obviously brand this on everyone, but it's like the exact same thing when it comes to just general virtue signaling in, mm. as a whole. You know what I mean? Like, is this your moment to? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like <coughs> when when the when the. <laughs> When the call to come and evangelize or like, hey, let's go out to the streets and actually just let people know about the goodness of God. Yeah. You know, let's go and share this goodness and mercy to, to the streets. Mm -hmm. when, when they put out the flyers and the call for that, you didn't... You didn't take, you yeah. did. Or when they said, let's go, let's go and scrap <laughs> these people because... Yeah, like, yeah, 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 bet. Let me cover... Set, you know what I mean? Like, what, what, this what time? What this time? time? So I'm like, for some people, I'm like, is this, is this the one time that you want to now, you think, oh, the faith part is important? Like, and if that's the case, that's what I'm saying, check the conviction, right? Mm. But the funny thing that came out of this, it was a con like a thought that came to my mind. So there was a blackout that happened mm. not long after, <laughs> after all this, right? Oh, yeah. A blackout happens um, in, in yes. Paris, not too long, like a couple hours after the opening ceremony. Um, I guess on background, I think there was a lot of torrential rain and stuff like mm. that that was going down, whatever, um, mm. in, in, in Paris. And potentially led to the reason of the blackout. But obviously, aligning it with what had happened in the opening ceremony and all that kind of stuff and the outrage, people were like, huh, this is an act of God. Because mm -hmm. one of the few places, I, and I tried to really double check and like fact check this, but one of the few places that was still lit up was the Basilica yeah, yeah, Chapel, was, um, or something like that. Yes, yeah, correct. That was, it, was, um, yeah. it was one of the... One of the churches, churches. Um, was, was still lit up. I'll just find the name of it properly. Um, I can find it after. Um, but yeah, there's a blackout, but um, the Basilica of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, mm. um, also known as the Sacre Coeur, whatever. Sounds like Sacre Bleu. I don't know what that means, but I always hear it. <laughs> but anyways, a church was still lit up and everything else is blackout. So like, this is, this is God's sign mm -hmm. that you mess with the wrong, with mm. the wrong guy. So I was like, okay, this is, this is almost like a, a nice battery in the back for all them angry people. It mm. looks nice, yeah. it sounds nice. But then I was like, do you really want God to act in these yeah. moments? Because, 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 yeah. because, listen. Mm. <laughs> because, yeah. I know was coming out, bro. Because I was like, um, I, even someone was like, I'm done with this God. Just pack up this earth. Like, get rid of all these people that are defiling your name and let's, yeah. let's yeah, be yeah, done yeah, with them. Yeah. yeah? Mm. Now you think about Sodom and Gomorrah in the Bible where mm. God sends... Yeah. You know what I mean? Angels yeah. gonna come and destroy that town Don't look because because you're moving mad. Don't look back. Don't Get look out back. of here. Yeah. I'm saving you guys. I'm getting rid of these bad people. <laughs> yeah. No one, the great flood. I'm wiping out these evil people because they are they're not they're not trusting in me. I'm gonna wipe out the hearse with the rain. You get me? Um what else? What else what else happened where people got packed up completely on, on earth? Right? Uh Egypt. Mm. Plagues come through, absolutely wipe out these people. Okay. Do we actually want God to, to, to act, right? Well, like, God, come and, come and act, come and move. People are, are, are moving mad. Come and save us that are really serving you. Because this is the thing, yeah? You call God and you say, bring your angel of death. And when the angel of death comes and he comes and knocks on your door first. Yeah. Because <laughs> really, you haven't been living the right life that you think you have. Yay. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know the ones where it's like, yo, you don't want to point the finger before God says, hey, buddy, put the mirror yeah. to your face. You, what's, what's that Bible verse, man? Um, of course. Before you try to take the speck out of your out friend's of your, eye, yeah. why don't you deal with that big log that's in your eye? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, right. okay, beg, tell the God, calm down, bring your fire and brimstone. But when your house gets burnt <laughs> by the brimstone too, mm. because you're part of the collective that's also really not living the life that he's called you for, isn't that a bit awkward, buddy? <laughs> I said, hey, man, let me, yeah. before I try to now start pointing fingers at people and screaming and acting like I'm holier than mm. thou, let me analyze my What's situation on, probably man? because... It'll be orcs, bro. That's yeah, hilarious. Because, yeah, right, yeah. yeah, I know Earth is going to get wiped out, bro. Yeah. And I don't think we're ready for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know? not literally. Like but but that, that, to be honest, that, that's, that was actually the whole theme of the conference revival. Mm. Right? So. Mm. I think it was, it was comical that the blackout happened. And I think it was just kind of like a reminder, like those subtle things where it's like, you know, God doesn't joke 
about those type of things and we shouldn't joke about it too and i know you're talking about you know the wiping out all of that stuff that was just a nice little subtle you know i'm just (laughs) let me just remind y'all who's in control and you know what you guys are doing here so i think whether (laughs) you know whether people take it as it was or it wasn't (laughs) it literally happened right after the opening ceremony and so hopefully for some people they're like "Ah, let me take a (laughs) do we want to do we want them to remind because that's what i'm saying bro Uh, (laughs) imagine the reminder you're the one that's part of the little small yeah. Little small, small you're part of that reminder, bro. Because you said reminder. <laughs> Reminder happens. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a broader conversation. I mean, that, yeah, that I was trying to find the verse again. It was um, if the Son mm. of Man comes back on earth, will he still find faith anywhere? Mm. It's, it's that thing of like, we're all thinking that we're moving in a certain way, but on a real analysis, how we actually live. How you we know actually I mean? Like, you're yeah, screaming yeah. about the wrong thing sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Let's look at our own life. Yeah, it's, just, it's an interesting one, man. I don't think there's any much more discourse that really come out of that whole thing because honestly, the when people apologize, last two days and that's it. it's done. Yeah, yeah, what can you do? Last yeah. two days, people apologize. What can you do, bro? Like, what, what can, can you really you scream do, and say? Boycott dude. Olympics? How? They put yeah. 9.7 billion into that city to make this thing come down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something like that. Wild numbers, bro. Yeah. I think I also, I also saw it in like a as a reminder for Christians too because you know we talk about it in terms of like. Us Christians, we're sitting here in our perfect ways and, you know, we're being offended by actions of others, you know, that are outside of our community. But it's also like a reminder to just sit and think, okay, what is it that we've done to make someone so angry that they're going out of their way to try and mock something that we believe in? You know what I mean? Obviously, there's no there's no justification for what happened or, you know, there's no justification for ever mocking someone's religion or anything (laughs) like, no, 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 or anything like that. But it's also like there are some Christians out there. There's a level of accountability required. Yeah, of yeah. course. There's, there's some Christians out there where it's like, yo, you're right. not really acting Christ-like, my friend. Like, you're walking around saying, yes, you know, this is the hill that I'm going to die on and trying to represent and stuff. But and now you're, you're just dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, not even on the hill. On you're not even hill, on the right? hill, yeah. literally. But it's like, yeah, some people out there kind of need to take a step back and be like, okay, how have you been treating these people? God has called us to love yeah. everybody mm. yeah. despite, you know, what's going Shit, on. Have you been showing yeah, that to them? So it's like, once again, not justifying it at all, but clearly someone gets to a point like that. It's like, okay, we've been disrespected so much. We've been this, you know, been thrown stones at and all of that stuff. So it's like, all right, like what's going on? Why is there so much, um, not disconnect, but it's like, you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, what's, what's, what's yeah. that about? What's I, that about, guys? I think like, I don't know, I've been like <laughs> thinking about this quite a bit, like the last few days, but it's mm. like when, not like this topic, but just like this thought that I've been thinking about, where it's like, when you really do remove an actual relationship with Jesus mm. from your Christianity, mm. or not even remove, but just not focus on, it's like it's literally just a religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, it, that is really just when it becomes rules. And I think t- in order to feel self righteous, close, really. yeah, t- in order because I think people do want to feel close to God, but it's like in order to feel close, it's like how do I perform best? Mm. And so, well, let me really hate what I think God hates. Mm. Let me really. But it's always going to be misconstrued when you don't actually do this from a place of a relationship with Jesus, yeah, right? Of course. So it's like instead of hating corny and been repeated so many times, but it's like instead of actually hating the sin, you start hating the sinners. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah. hold up, that's not what's meant to be happening, mm-hmm. you know? But I, yeah, and just because I do think at the end of the day, the vast majority of Christians around the world are more religious than not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's regardless of denomination or whatever. I think as Pentecostals, we tend to be the ones that are like, oh, it's all about relationship. But then it's like, if our service doesn't run a certain way, <laughs> we don't know what's, what's going on. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's like, oh, well, maybe we're just religious too. <laughs> yeah. I, I really hear what you're saying, what Ma was saying around that as well. Because when you do remove Jesus from it, it now just becomes a religion. And it's, it's and as the, powerless as anything else. It becomes yeah. powerless, right. And then now it's, you know, because I, I mean, again, going back to conference, we're focusing a lot on um, John 14, I think 14, 16. Come where on, Mr. Note Taker. Where it was like, right. I'm going to send you a helper, mm. right? Referring to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Right. So then it comes back to, do we have a relationship with the Holy Spirit? Mm. Right. So now... So I think that's really the difference between someone actually having that relationship with the Holy Spirit with Jesus versus removing that and now just going to church and that's it. Yeah. Right. And I think that's where a lot of the people who that is drop, drop on the comments going, you blah, 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 like it's like yo, you fat B. Yeah. <laughs> you, crazy. Yeah, bro. That's 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 crazy to me, bro. Because bro, it was wild. I actually saw some of the comments. I was like, bro, how? 
like, what are you saying? You know, but uh, yeah, I think again, that's the difference between actually having a relationship with Jesus versus just following the religion, which is why in almost every service, you know, again, Pastor Peter was like, I'm not inviting you to religion. I'm inviting you to have a relationship with yeah, Jesus. I love that mm. one, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's a banger line. That was a banger, bro. <laughs> Yeah, oh, but no. if you, yeah, yeah. By the way, conference was amazing. I don't think we spoke about conference as well, actually. Our water merch yeah. never promoted, but it was on the, it was on our socials. So yeah, yeah, yeah man. It was, that, it was, man. It was, it was an amazing yeah, man, time. If you want to get plugged in, come uh, holler at us, bro. Hmm? I said, if you want to get plugged in, come holler at us. Yeah, yeah hey, for real. Um, moving to another apology. <laughs> After that, how much you guys saw this? But um, the what I thought could never happen essentially was happening, and I was, I was, I was spun. What was that? I was hearing people be like, Mr. Beast getting cancelled, Mr. Beast oh. getting cancelled. I, I said, guess. how? Mr. What, like, Mr. 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 Beast. Mr. Beast. I was oh, like, what do, you mean, uh, what do you mean, Mr. Beast? Like, yeah, what yeah, could yeah, he yeah. potentially be doing that's getting cancelled, bro? So, I think, we'll, I was again, I was with you on yeah, the weekend exactly, and we were talking yeah. about this. And, um, like, context and whatnot, like, you know what I mean? A little warning, whatever. There was, um, was like his employee. One of his employees. So, yeah. Chris... Now known as Ava, Ava. Tyson. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's the one on Mr. Beast that was transitioning. Mm-hmm. Um, he had the wife. I think we might have touched on this time ago, maybe on the pod. Yeah. But I had the wife and I think a kid or two mm-hmm. um, now transitioning, split up with his wife. Christian as well, right? The, or, or like I think they're church all goals or something like all the Bible the, Belt. So yeah, that Bible yeah, Belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's Christian influence in their yeah, lives. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he left his wife, whatever, um, started transitioning, now known as Ava Tyson. But news comes out or leaks or information comes out that, um, I was about to say he, <laughs> that Ava. <laughs> <laughs> You've been running his quite a bit, but I don't care. <laughs> that Ava was um, entertaining or engaging in uh, inappropriate conversation in relation mm. with, with minors. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? I said, goodness gracious, how is... Jimmy Beast gonna get out of these one here. And why does it have such a impact on him? And I, the info comes out that apparently ex-employees were saying that this is known behaviors that the team or Mr. Beast specifically had known about and people hadn't kind of like either what dealt with or swept mm. under the rug or properly and yeah. yeah, acknowledged properly or like addressed kind of thing, right? Mm. So now there's the, there was a whole thing around like, yeah, on a cancel Mr. Beast. For one, I was like, the guy is too massive to even I don't, be think, canceled, this, but I I don't like, think any of this stuff can stick. It has to be him doing it. Yeah, it has to be yeah. him directly. Like, but yeah, yeah, him doing yeah. it. 100%. Him doing it or him enabling it is a different story. <laughs> but but him dealing with it. Yeah, because because I, like I, I I I'm just gonna be objective here. Like if I'm at that level or even at this level, one of my friends is doing shenanigans. Cut him off. Not beyond shenanigans. Well, I'm I don't know what. Yeah, maybe I wouldn't include them in the videos and this kind of stuff and whatnot, but it's like I'm probably having conversations with them like, yo, what the frick are you doing? I don't know if I'm going straight police or legal straight away. I don't know. I don't know. How do you handle that? My friend in the last two years has gone from him to her to left his wife and kid yeah. to now talking two kids. Yeah. Like, what the yo, frick's like, going actually, on? Yo, what is going yeah. on? Here, like, he, like, this is confusing. And it's like, this is someone I've known for years. Yeah. Like, what the hell is happening? Yeah. I will say that apparently that was happening before. Yeah, before, before she transitioned. Oh. So when I mean, she was yeah, still like, no, 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 just to clarify as well. No, so that it, does, so it's yeah, been, it's yeah, been yeah, going on for a while, to. is what oh, I'm saying. Say okay, it's yeah, been, yeah, yeah. yeah, a time oh. period. Conspiracy? So okay. Yeah. Can I have a hot take? Let's hear it. The transition <laughs> is to cover the us. Yep. Because we can't be that angry as society at Ava. At Ava. Because that was Chris. That was Chris. Everybody hates Chris. Everybody hates Chris, but everybody loves Everybody hates Chris. Chris. Bro. But not like actually, like what if it's like a trial? She will have to transition back. Goodness <laughs> gracious, and be trying as crazy. Can you imagine the judge? <laughs> Off the record, Joanne Wright. That's on the record, <laughs> bro. Ah, you're so lame. Oh. So at the trial, the judge is going to make her transition back. Back to Chris. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, this is why yes. they mock Jesus at the last supper, yes. bro. Because, Wait, because of these comments from you haters. But this is not crazy to say. <laughs> it's, it's this not. is genuine it's investigation. As, as, as independent journalists, literally, as independent journalists of Melbourne, we're trying, to, <laughs> right. Yikes. we're trying to get into yeah. this. You get. But continue. But um, Damn. Mr. Beast's approach was on a straight. The apology comes out right. I thought it was reasonable. Contempt. You thought it was what? You thought reasonable. it was reasonable. Yeah, typically. Okay, like everything acknowledged. 
Yeah, everything well. was very acknowledgeable and directly, right, on a straight con condemn thing. And I think Mr. Beast has one of the greatest, um, like the teams, but like the team, in terms of the image we have to uphold, they are very, I think they're one of the few PR teams that are on the money. Go, go. On this, yes. Mr. Beast is also 24 years old. Yeah. Oh, is he 24, 25? Right, 24, 25. Like, yeah. let's be honest. Wow. That is very young Let's to be, be at that level. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right? Like, mm. like, and with that bread, Fair enough access. if you don't know what you're doing mm. in some mm. situations. Yeah, like, yeah, 100%. Like how you hear one of your employees doing that is like, should, do I just talk to him? And, yeah. Or do I run to the police? Like it's a friend as well, serious, you yeah. know me. Like, like who knows how to deal with those sort of situations? Yeah, like, okay, yeah, I'm... I'm 200 million subscribers. Yeah, I'm this much money. Bro, this, but it's like, bro, I'm good at marketing you. and making YouTube mm. videos. Yeah. I, I'm i still 24, 25. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, he's going to make mistakes. Crazy. So the approach was on an immediate apology. Um, not even apology, really. Acknowledgement, rather. Because, mm. I mean, I don't know what. He wasn't apologizing for anything necessarily. But on an immediate acknowledgement of, like, we've been made aware of these serious allegations. I am disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. Mm. Yep. Really ever do we see people on a, like, even though that's their friend on a straight, what you did was, was nasty. And then they're like, he said that he's got an um, independent third party investigator to do an investigation. I didn't go to check this out, but he also said, I've seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, <laughs> and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. Mm. So, so, so what? They tried to cancel him because because they, they thought he was aware of yeah, what's yeah, going on. Yeah, because covering the, it up. There was apparently, apparently some employees or whatever saying saying something. Like that. Can you just imagine the, ne <laughs> the next YouTube <laughs> thing you put out? I hired fifty independent. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I hired 50 independent investigators. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm here with my friend. You know how he spouts all this. <laughs> my friend Ava is up there in that 200 foot up. And if she's guilty, we're going to drop her into fire. Oh, god. Oh, my days. Come on. Jungle justice, bro. Oh, oh. So I don't know if, like, he's gone to the lengths of actually removing from. Because I'm like, okay, you have these videos that are. There's so many videos, bro. Mm. <laughs> and he said, hey, okay, So what? So he's going to go back and remove So I'm like, yeah, does I that, don't know how that works. So. I'm yeah. like, is it a thumbnail so. thing? Is it a blurring? Because you can do that. You have to go into yeah. your edit. And blur. Yeah. And you can blur. Because I'm like, you was, know what I mean? I was interested in, like, as soon as I heard about it, before, apology before anything, I was like, oh, they're going to have to deal with this for any upcoming releases. So mm. I'm sure he's, or whatever. For I'm sure. like, I'm because they have so much footage and all those guys on his team were kind of side characters yeah and i'm like i'm intrigued in the editing and like whoever's directing is like okay you're gonna have to cut this out but still make the story make sense now yeah before we release yeah. all this stuff yeah. that's pretty like it's in a weird way it's kind of dope like the ability to do that do something you know like, that, I mean? that like level. So you can still chop it up and we we probably won't even know where ava was where, meant to yeah. be in this oh, video this, yeah yeah wow Wow, what a... It's a different production. like Very different it's level be, production. It's yeah. Yeah, that production, that, YouTube that level... is no longer making clips. You know what the, I mean? This it's, is, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, movies that people are pumping around at. Different. So I know, I just I found that very interesting, I guess, the the approach in terms of um, the condemnation of it all because it's not... I don't really ever see that hard, fast kind of... Um, I'm a, I object to, to what I'm seeing because like, typically people come out with the, with the softer... General, yeah. uh, but but I things. think it's because they've had some type of direct encounter with what's going on. But yeah. because Mr. Beast knows that he's actually so far away of this and he's actually not aware of what's going on, he could actually come and actually have that direct say, "I'm disgusted." Mm. But if or but if, but because imagine if he did have some type, or if he was actually aware, and he comes out and says, "I'm disgusted," and then it turns out that. He was involved. Yeah. I, I don't think it would go as far right. to make a comment like that. So I got into my conspiracy bag with Mala and I was like, um, because when the whole transition moment came out, like yeah. it, it, the conversation at that time was Mr. Beast isn't too supportive of this. It looks kind of awkward or whatever. whatever. Mm. Yeah. I was like to Mala, I said, bro, what if they planted this? He knew the cover up was coming. What if the pattern what? Up. What, what, if, what if, I was like, bro, we're in the age of I don't know what's true, what's not oh, anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can really con bro, I can make I can a, make a narrative. I can make a narrative, bro. Yeah. And this is now my way to finally get Donnie oh. or Donette out. <laughs> <laughs> bro, out of this mm. production. I was I was deep in the bag. I said, I I, I have no I have no um I have no dogs in the race, bro. So yeah. I don't not that I don't care. I want justice to prevail, obviously. Yeah. But I don't... 
the, you know what I mean? Whatever the truth is, it's a madness at the end of the day, bro. Yeah. So I was like, hmm, could this be the... But then I'm like, who would want that type of allegations put upon them? Oh, bro, so allegations or... I'm not saying there's a choice no, for no. Ava oh, okay, <laughs> of, yeah, of okay, this okay. narrative. If it's <laughs> a by force. You know what I mean? Yeah. Madness, bro. Uh, it it's is. Power. It really yeah. is. But. You know what's a conversation that I find really interesting? And I don't know if I'm or any of us are qualified to People have it. Have like, it. we probably all have opinions on it. But yeah. it's like, the whole being married mm. and then one day deciding I'm no longer this gender mm. or I'm no longer this that sexuality. Kind of thing. Mm. With, with Bruce. Like, is that fair? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't. I, I, I mean, have my opinions yeah. and stuff, I mean, but I would love one. to properly... Because like, I don't know, Like sometimes I just think about it, I'm just like... Like, is that for another person? Yeah, or? like as in, well, on everybody involved. Because yeah, right. I'm like, yeah. let's say, uh, let's say our friend is married and he's 15 years into his marriage, four children, and then his wife just goes, hey, I'm going to transition to become a man. Mm-hmm. And kind of up and leaves. Like, think about how confusing that is for the, in this case, the man, the OG man, <laughs> right? Mm. And like, uh, wait, what was happening? How long was this happening? All this kind of stuff. Like, who am I then? Yeah. All this kind of stuff. And then think about like the kids. It's like, because also I, I don't understand the rules to any of this stuff. And I, <laughs> and I don't believe in a world where there's no rules. I really don't. I think mm. that's one of my things. Like I don't believe in a world where there's no rules. Mm. And so it's like, like for example, I don't know if I've said this on here before. I don't understand why, like, and this is not to bully a kid or nothing like that, never, right? But it's like, for example, uh, Dwayne Wade's daughter is now referred to by him as he, that's my daughter. Mm. Mm. But Kendall and Kylie still refer to Caitlyn Jenner as their dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, wait, why did this one change title and this one didn't change title? Mm. I don't understand this stuff. Mm. Is it literally a matter of everyone, yo, free game, do whatever yeah, you want to do? I think it was just, right? it's just preference. But I, that doesn't really It's like, what do I do with yeah, that? I'm yeah, like, now I can get it wrong. Yeah, yeah. like, and, and like, I know, I don't know, people will be like, oh, that's, you, you can't say that, whatnot. First of all, I can. And second of all, <laughs> like, I'm allowed to just say I'm confused, yeah. uh, right? Yeah, of like, course. if they can say I'm confused, I can't. I can too. be confused. <laughs> can be confused. But that's not really a rule, though. That's just more of how, what they refer to each other. No, no, no. But he's saying rule in terms of, um, terms of practice, you know what I mean? Reference for practice. Like, yeah. how, do we, how do we move? You like, as in, because, like, for example, uh. regardless of, like, and, look, and I understand, like, the world changes, the stuff, cool. All right. We'll do it. But, like, for your family growing up back home a right. hundred years ago, yeah. right? The rule was kind of like, oh, when you talk to your dad, you say he, okay. right? Yeah. And then my family 300 years ago still had that rule, yeah. right? And nowadays, Daniel's family still has that rule. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so it's like, there's this kind of like, it doesn't matter. Anyone can enter the space and we know what's going on. Okay, yeah. Right? Yeah. When we don't know, like, and look, if there is some new kind of formula for approaching this stuff, I'd love to hear it. Mm. Like, again, whatever, right? But I'm just like, I don't, I'm confused. That's mm. all I'm saying, yeah? yeah. And, I think, and I think ultimately, I do, I really do feel for partners of people yeah. that yeah. just like, oh, one day, like, I know, for some reason, it seems to happen with women a lot, where it's like, the husband leaves and he's gay. And I'm just like, fair enough. But it's like, that it would be a really confusing thing yeah, for this for woman. You. And oh, I yeah. do feel for her, right? Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. like I, fair, that's your truth. Whatever you believe that, cool. As far as your wife I, or ex-wife, I really do feel for her. Yeah, mm. and I guess to your question you're asking, um, is yeah. it fair? I think, no, on both. Like, and we're talking yeah. about on both, par- on all parties involved, right? For kids, no, it's not fair. For the partner who's now finding this thing out, it's not fair. Mm. For the person who believes that they're it's not confused. living- It's confused. That's and they're, not fair. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's not 100%. fair for them ultimately as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not fair for anyone in this situation. Yeah. I'm like, okay, how do you navigate that? How do you prevent that? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Can you prevent that as well? Mm. Do you, is there yeah. a way to address it and um, mit, like not even not mitigate, address it and maybe 
on a on a damage control thing, uh, can decision be changed? You know what I mean? Like mm. we don't we don't even know how how that kind of goes about. But I think blanket is like it definitely is not fair on any mm. party in that a situation. A lot of things change. Bro, it's just on that. Like man. literally, because yeah. <laughs> what do you do? I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> This guy. No, hey, bro. It's like, yeah. yeah, it's very, it's very, it would be very confusing for the kids. I like. Hey, becomes, you guys aren't inviting me back to the bro, next hangout. Marvel becomes Martin. Mar- bro, if Marvin, like Marvin you? Martin over here comes. Marwan. You're all on. You're on. It's your boy Martin. Come, come. It's your boy Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Damn, guys. <laughs> I would I'm make I'm a good looking man. Oh, oh, my God. But dude. yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's a very. Uh, what if. How do you console your homie, bro? How can they still? Uh, How do you consult her? Can they still be together? Hey man. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you say can't they still be You'll together? Be together bro. If the <laughs> if the man if the woman dog? transitions, <laughs> which dog? <laughs> bro, is mad. Yeah, I'm just I'm just asking you know because remember we're just throwing stuff there. No, nah, because around. because this this is this, this is again. <laughs> Look, uh, everything grain of salt we're learning here. Yeah, fine. For the listeners, if I'm in this situation, and uh-huh. 15 years in, my wife goes, "I'm a man now. Now I'm gay. If I stay, <laughs> yeah, and I never but knew I'm not it. gay. But I'm not gay. Mm. I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm not." He said, "Linda, listen. <laughs> Linda, listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, listen. <laughs> He's trying so to convince I, himself so right I, now. I, right? I can, yeah, literally." <laughs> Because that, that's what I'm imagining, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hey, am I? <laughs> Imagine the mirror. I'm not gay. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Far, man. Straight as a circle, bro. Nah, it's very... Bro. <laughs> she, she goes, hey, baby. The dog goes, whoop. Come on, bro. You know? Nah. She's like, now, okay, now if I stay here... It's, so, it's, it's a confusing um, situation. Yeah, it is. More, it more is. Real, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, a bad one, man. And I, I think so, that... So for the kids, is that like now... Two fathers, two mothers. I might still refer, uh, would they be referred to this one as a mama or a dad? Mama, yeah. baba, mama, like, like bam, baba, baba. <laughs> Everyone think, does it different. I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's different. why with Chris Jenner, she still allows the girls, Kylie and Kendall, to call her dad. Oh, okay. Because it's more of like a sensitivity thing, right? Because that's family. At the end of the day, how you mm-hmm. deal with your family and how you deal with the so situation so. is going to be different to how you're going to deal with the world. Yeah, to okay. the world, I'm a she. The world addresses Chris Jenner as a she because we don't that we don't have that connection or that you know relationship with her where she has to like you know justify this or move in like a certain type of way. Correct. Whereas with your kids, it's like okay, it's yeah. these are my kids. For you, this might be a hard thing to try and like grasp and get your head around. So you guys can call me dad. I might not look like dad, but if that helps you with the situation yeah. or kind yeah. of like come yeah. to terms with things, I'm gonna let you call me dad. And so I think that's why it's one of those things where it's like. It's not fair all round, but it's like you just have to deal with it. Just work it out. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Hey, yeah. honey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's meant to be hot piss, bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> because of Dad now. Yeah. So yeah, he's, yeah, he's saying like a female became Dad. So there's two Dads. <laughs> no, because you... It, <laughs> yeah, see, everybody confused now. No, bro. no, in this situation... <laughs> everybody confused, mm. bro. The kids... Explain yourself, the yes. The kids yeah. call her... Dad. Yes. Yeah, so they call Chris Jenner. Chris no, Jenner, Caitlin. dad. Caitlyn Jenner. Ka- Caitlyn you said Jenner. Chris Jenner yeah, before. Caitlyn, Caitlyn Jenner. Jenner. I said Chris and Caitlyn situation. Chris okay. Jenner, yeah. Yeah. Can I, can I, can I, can Caitlyn I say Jenner. something? Yeah. yeah. I don't like that Caitlyn didn't spell it with a K. Okay. Oh. That's what the family's known for. I, think, I feel like Jerkin, it was a diss. Like, hey, I'm going to pick a back. her name. And yeah, you see. yeah, yeah, yeah. You see. We're not part of this. You may say you see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rep a different set. Bro. No. Yeah, damn. Yeah, no, it's very confusing. I don't know. I would be interested to have a conversation with someone one day. Let's get Kaylin on the podcast. Just, just, work. <laughs> just to feel like. Kaylin and Ava. Have you ever Same felt time. like <laughs> that? Who's Ava? From the get go? Or Same was that a transition halfway through your marriage? I yeah. don't know. Well, not everything has to be confusing, though, as well. Like, not all marriages have to be crazy. Imagine being like, mm, let's hear <laughs> your part, like, Marwa transitions, becomes a man, and just because you're like, I want to be in a straight relationship, you become a woman. <laughs> I become a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Let me even reverse oh you right my now. Days. <laughs> He's somebody going to uh, match my freak. Oh my. <laughs> 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 somebody going to match my nasty. <laughs> Wow. Hey man, not Tom Foolery though. Have you, uh, oh, yeah, go what do you want to say? No, I was gonna say, have you guys seen the uh, the wedding, the six hundred million dollar wedding? The, <laughs> the Indian yeah, one? The yeah, Indian I've been John, seeing yeah. that for a while now, yeah. bro. You know what's so wild to me? I looked into it a little bit. No, because they had another wedding. 
Yeah, they had yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's been going yeah, for a lot of celebration. Guys, first wow. day, crazy. I think it was just more intimate, about 9,000 people. Jeez, so Louise, I'm, bro. Something like that. Yeah, all together, cost 600 million. But I was just very curious. I was like, bro, dollars. like... <laughs> in, 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 in India? People. In India. Yeah, but that yeah. stretches then. 600 million USD? AUD? No, like what? Akash Singh was invited. Yeah, yeah I Akash saw Singh. that. Yeah, he was. <laughs> I mean, at that point, you're scrapping for... Like, you need to just bring every Indian that has bro, a name. Hey, oh, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I, I understand why it costs 600 million. First of all, obviously, they invite you. Everything's covered for you. Yeah, beautiful. You're playing... Tickets, your accommodation, your, <laughs> yeah, your, your, your ride to the wedding, back home, everything, bro. Yeah. You, you don't need to pay for, for, for yeah. anything at all. But I was, I was like, man, imagine inviting people that you've never met before. They bought Rihanna out of retirement. <laughs> Rihanna was at the wedding. She, she Rihanna was at the wedding. Just a Kim K. All of no Seven way. million for that yeah. performance, something like that. There was what? Seven million. Yeah, for yeah, yep. Like yep. People just she got paid. So I was wondering, right. I was like, is this wedding just? Just to make it look good, you're inviting these celebrities that mm. John Cena was there. Mm. See, like this, right? But also, you don't know, like at that level, you don't know who has relationships with, with who. who yeah. yeah, I was just, just about to say that. Like, yeah. Uh, also, we don't know India, right? So, because like, John Cena could be a massive oh, yeah. character oh, in yeah. India. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm sure Indian guys is. are still dressing like him today. <laughs> back when he was wearing the three quarter shorts, bro. So, we're like, why do you guys think Chris Brown didn't get invited? <laughs> Because Brown's their savior for real, bro. Like, I understand. Because Rihanna was for me. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, I only just clocked your head, bro. <laughs> that was fire, bro. Nah, yeah. I, I just find it wild where it's like, you never That's invited. That's a lot of numbers, You've man. never invited, it, like, you've never met them before, but they yeah. get invited to the wedding. One thing that I thought was dope, I think there was like, they found, I think it was like 60 or 120 couples like oh, local yeah, yeah, that were yeah. also getting married at the same time. And then bless And then just basically paid for like 50,000. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Get, like US dollars, paid yeah. for their weddings. Yeah, XYZ, that was pretty blah, blah. cool. I was like, yeah, why not? Like, these guys are so Who are these people, rich. bro? Ambani, it's, very, I think their wealth rich. is through steel. Right. Mm. Their parents state. are like, the, their billions are what I think top richest, Jeez. top three richest in all of India. Yeah, wow, man. Yeah. And that's yeah. money. Yeah. Big yeah, bank. Yeah, yeah, they have like, I think they're, I think they're the ones that have a building yeah, they have that. That's like 30 stories. That's their yeah. house. Yeah, wow. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Crazy. Like one of the levels. Yeah, because I was hearing about this. I never actually took the time yeah. to go like check this out because I'm like, what do you mean the biggest wedding in the world? Which is yeah. where I'm like, like, how can you, how can you, how can you quantify that? Yeah, like, yeah. what do you mean? Yeah. But after what y'all are saying, nah, bro. you can quantify it. Bro. <laughs> John Cena, Rihanna, Kim K, what? Nah, big, big, big time people yeah. were there, man. I was like, wow, that's pretty nice. All right, you guys get the invite to that. Yes. Like, okay, no, no, hear me out. Let me, let me even set the scene a bit. Um, you've been traveling quite a bit. We've all, we're all out and about. We've been whatever. Yeah. Like, there's no leave. Like, it's a crucial point in time at work or whatever or business. Like, there's things that need to happen here. You get the invite to this wedding, and it's gonna be a two and a half week kind of stint. Okay. Of of this whole thing, are you taking the invite? There's more jobs out there than Ambani weddings. <laughs> so I'm yeah, I'm, I'm going I'm for sure. Going <laughs> I won't give a heck. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Because think about who I'm going to meet when I'm there. Legit. Nah, nah, Legit. Yeah, yeah, Life yeah. changing. That's so interesting, man. Because I was literally thinking, I'm like, nah, I'm going. Because you know how there's opportunities. Two weeks and come and join. I'm trying to avoid this guy. Cause <laughs> every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> um, two weeks and come for a uh, <laughs> YouTube <laughs> shoot with Mr. Beast. Uh, uh, three. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! Maybe, maybe right now. Maybe, shoot. <laughs> maybe right now. It's not a good time to go join the Mr. Beast shoot. Oh my days. But um, okay, one month and it's an amazing race. Whatever. You know what I mean? Like those opportunities. I always in my mind, I'm like, yeah, you oh, have to what? take them. Yeah, bro. but I'm always like, oh, that's no, such a disruption to. Mm. Or, or even the times where we've had um, uh, two weeks to go to New Zealand, fifteen thousand dollar um. Movie shoot. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Uh, We've literally yeah, seen yeah, these yeah. things. Yeah. You have to go away for two weeks. I'm like, oh, but I don't want to disrupt work. What do you mean $15,000? Yeah, like <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> the like, math has crazy. to make sense. Because yeah. yeah, if yeah. like, because if right now, two weeks, 15000 and I get told off at work or I lose my job, yeah. that's giving me a month and a half to find work. <laughs> 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 I'm coming. I'm good. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. She's like, yeah, that could, that could yeah. work. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah, that, I'm definitely, def because bro, you might come back have one of these guys sit on your podcast, bro. Yeah, you know yeah that's I mean? true. Yeah, yeah. Just that a side conversation. True. Just be like, hey, what's going on? What do you do? Yeah, I do this. I, I do a podcast. Yeah, what do you say? Yeah, I bet. After this, we Let's chop it up. Let's chop yeah. it up. Yeah, bet. I got, I got a bag for you. Can I be guest? <laughs> <laughs> 
Bonnie Puri, bro. You're Bonnie so Puri. annoying. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> but I'd be so gassed go there like, bro. Yeah, that man. would be a good at, time. At that wedding? At that wedding. Yeah, it would but be a match. Bro, honestly, fun. like, I want to go to an Indian wedding so bad. The Indian yeah, spectacle same, of a wedding same. is actually yes. amazing to see the Phenomenal. colors, bro, yeah. the smells. I think it's top, the, top the one. The foods, mm. it's, it's top one? Yeah, yeah, I think it's probably It's, it's up there. It's actually wildest. uppity, bro. The way that the sari just be spinning. Yeah, when it's just beautiful. Yeah, serious, serious. Side note, though, I want to go on the block. That's something I've been wanting to go on, the, the block. block. So if well, I built had to take time to build it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah no, nah, nah, sorry. Now. My bad. Oh. You, don't, you don't have to be. That wasn't Nora. Sorry, that that was Nora. <laughs> <laughs> That's the old me now. The block. <laughs> the block, yeah. You don't have to be, you don't have to know how to build. Pretty you know, they provide you, you with everything. Vision, they yeah. provide you. Yeah, you just need to have and a budgeting. vision and a budget and someone to go on with. I watch that thing all the time, bro. Yeah, And I feel like we, bro, we might fight. Yeah, we could do it the block. We good. can't do I Amazing think, Race. But bro, we could do the block. The block I love it when couples are doing it, bro. Yeah. So I'm going to go on like um, one of those Jeopardy type shows. But yeah, we, we need chase. something like that. Oh, you want to do that? Hot seat. Hot seat. Nah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, hey, I reckon what, I can, well, I can, I can do that. Well, what yeah, shows would you go could. on with your partner? Marwa's top three. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you need that. Oh, With my partner? Yeah, like what show? I'll do Amazing Race with Daniel. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys, would, you guys would actually be good. Oh, that's your partner now. Be good. <laughs> <laughs> well, he left Mawa. That's surprise, they, surprise. That's just a yellow now, bro. Sorry, I know he doesn't want to go with me, it's so I it is stand, what it is. I stand on that. Um, I stand on that I'd watch that episode, bro. What's the show I do, with my okay, partner? Okay, them two go on, and me and you go on, Carlos. Hundred percent. Oh yeah, so that oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You guys might get to work. Oh, um, okay, so what you guys think the block? I, I, I think I'll be down I, yeah, yeah, I'll be I would block the block for sure. Because I, I think I got the Goo Vision. Come on, man, Mr. Floor Plans and that oh, back gosh. in the day. I got it. Allegedly. Oh, with partner, I think Goggle Box. It's not Ooh, competitive, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. roast wise. Oh, I see that roast wise. Yeah. That's a wow, good they're not one. even paying us, man. But wow, man, I wish they knew us. But the ones that, that, that they, they do the hunt or whatever, is this one in um it's on channel 10. They drop I was telling you about it. The money? Yeah, where they the money well, you have 60 days. Mm. And there's a prize oh, pool right. or whatever. I, I'm getting the details probably very wrong, but you have 60 days here. You have to stay hidden, and they have a team of investigators, cybersecurity analysts, data analysts like bad, looking for you. So they drop you in Melbourne. It's in Melbourne. So there's people, and some people <laughs> <laughs> get out in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, man. So like last Bro, season, literally or just hide and seek. Last, uh, yeah, literally last season. I think the winners. Um, my beginning is very wrong, but they went off grid, went and got a job at a local bar in like Ballarat or something, and just worked <laughs> there for the sixty days, and then won or so, something like that. that. But right. like, there's those kind of vibes there. Yeah, they'll look through your social media. Your, they'll get your bank account access, all this type of stuff. Camera access, like security camera access in the streets they and whatnot. They get into Jeez. that somehow. Yeah, yeah. So oh, they, that's, that's yeah, they have nice. to look for you. I think it's, the show's on cool. like right now currently. Okay, mm. why are we genuinely not applying for this stuff? Cause like- I'm gonna- real, I want it. to you, apply. Cause if we do I've duo- I've heard about this before. Huh? If me, like okay. me and Daniel do it. Like, yeah. all right, think oh, about it. Oh, the hidden ones. Aussies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigerian, Arab. Yeah. Um, What else do we have here? Frick. As in like that will tune in. Yeah, like as in there's a story there. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. So. Sob story. <laughs> You, you just have to make it very. Um, the South Sydney's got this one. <laughs> yeah, 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 you guys. You guys they go, they yeah. did. The Kakuma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, everyone, I, I think people are lying. No one went Kakuma. No one went Everyone's just saying it because it sounds good on the voice. Refugees, <laughs> mate. <laughs> you guys just Sorry. have to make a very like add drama to it. Oh, Bro, they look at Carlos. He only even has African clothes. Bro, man's <laughs> doing the, the enough, bro. I'm actually going to yeah. try and apply. Nah, maybe, no, maybe we that's really new, should. That's the new move. Hey, Tim, why not apply for this kind of shows? Ooh, Fam oh! Family Feud? Oh. Can we do Family Feud, the four of us? Oh, Family Feud. Family Feud. There's no Family Feud yeah. here, though. There is. In Australia, yeah, there is, bro. I literally have the game that you bought for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Family Feud would be fun. Hey, let's look into this. Let's see what I want for that. Unless I yeah. should do something like that, bro. Have you guys seen The Mall? No. Oh, on Netflix? Yeah. The, the mall. mall? The Mall. Or them all? The, the Mall. The Mall. Okay. Yeah, that was, oh. That's another kind of game show. Right? I've seen it's that It's one. a good game show. I think it's like 
12 participants in the oh, yeah. game. Nah, I need mm. to and, do then, a and then research. one of them is the mole trying to, you know. Oh, the mole. The mole. The mole. Yeah. See, <laughs> this is Asuni's part. He's on the show. He's on the show. That's definitely Kakuma's finest. Kakuma's finest right here, bro. I love that. Kakuma, I love that. Of course. Yeah, I, I, I reckon I'll do damage on that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, no, nah, I actually want to. I actually want to start this, man. Mm. Um, what okay, so we got things that Mao and I, unless we save it for next week. It's yesterday was um a year since our henna. Yeah, crazy. I saw yeah, that. a year went by, and then oh, yeah, by so the yeah. time the next week's episode is out, it would have been a year of um marriage. of marriage. I think marriage. we're if we're shooting on People Monday next week, that's the wedding anniversary. Yeah. Wow. Um. So we had a we we had like a year review mm. of Ooh. married life that we wanted to share with the group, or do we that's save that and do top things. three today? Oh no, because I mean, we haven't done no top three. So do you want to do top three and then maybe the next episode? Save it for the next episode. Save it for the next yeah. episode then. Yeah. How's your one year? Good. How are you feeling? Female. <laughs> Still. <laughs> yeah. You're so annoying. Still, right. Yeah, right. Right, let's, let's do right, top let's three do then, top man. Because I haven't done that. Three. Yeah. I should have done at the start because it actually made sense with the topic. But anyways, today is an Olympic themed episode. Top three most famous transitions. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is very hard. We don't do that. We're not doing that one. Um, all right, cool. So today's top three is top three countries with the most medals. Ever. So Ever. most yeah. medals won in the Olympics. Ever. Yeah. Or like combined. Combined. Yeah. So combined. So this is summer and winter Olympics combined. <laughs> there was actually another clarification I should have made, but it's okay. No, no, Kiki, tell us what it is. Yeah, just, just last minute. We're not going to change it. We're not even going to be mad. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll say it when, when it comes up. There's no rules. <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say it when it comes up. All right, so we've got in fifth place... With under 100, uh, under 100, under 1,000. So, like, around 780 medals. Is that, Italy. Is it, sorry, is this gold medals? Nah, no, medals. medals. Yeah, yeah. Just wow, medals. Crazy. So, no, we've got yeah, Italy. Italy? Italy is in fifth place. You know what's hilarious? Like, why wouldn't we think Greece? Are we, uh, like, Olympics in terms of origin? I don't know. Who knows? It's Greece, the origin. Yeah. Mm. So. But that reason, I wonder, like, in terms of the expansion of when this happened? They not like that. <laughs> All right. All right. So, yep. So, fifth place, we've got Italy. In fourth place, we have France. Really? Oh, France is France. good. Yes. Yep. That's a good shout. With just over 900 what medals. No, nah, France is, yeah. What, what were they eating up in? I reckon it was prior to, like... Anything that we cared about? Yes. No, prior <laughs> to, like... Technology. Aren't they good on the track? No. Okay. So, yeah. So... Prior to black people being involved in track, <laughs> yeah, 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 right. France was good. <laughs> yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Got you, got you, got uh, you. And like cycling and things like mm. that, they're good. Wow, France. Okay. Okay. Yeah, All right, cool. In third place, we have, with just over a thousand medals, Great Britain. Come on. Oh, wow. Yeah, you honorable didn't. You, you had it as an honorable mention, so you should have put it in place. And so sorry, lads. I should have put it in. Yeah. So so sorry. That's that's wow. third. You're saying yeah. Yeah. So that's wow. third. All right, so um. Okay. In right. second place, the clarification should have been this includes East and West, Germany. Because yeah. I know you were saying. Mm. Yeah. So Germany. Germany is, is second in place? second place. Yeah. Carlos is back. <laughs> and then I've got in first place. It's China. Miles US. and miles oh, and miles ahead. ahead. Miles ahead. We have the United States. Really? I'm yeah. really surprised China's, China's not top five. Eating yeah. it. But it's they clean up. Five, but yeah. you know what it might be? It China might be, is in sixth place. It might, yeah, it might be that 2008 so Olympics that that's very stuck and ingrained in our minds mm. where they were the, bodying. Yeah. Did they win as well? Like that the most? Um, China. Medals? Probably. China, I think, in 2008. No, to be honest, there was a year where China was just... They were bodying. I think that was the yeah, yeah, 2008 Beijing the most Olympics. Medals. Yeah, that's yeah. the most. Yeah. Wow. I mean, but they're not great all round, like in everything. Yeah, though. no, but that's what I'm saying. I think like our they're good at the skating, the gymnastics, the skating, gymnastics, oh, diving, the US, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, table swimming. tennis, yeah. yeah, they be there. Badminton, basically any sport that no one cares about. <laughs> <laughs> there was um, a video of uh, Anthony Edwards sitting on the boat uh, during the opening ceremony, and then I think. Um, I, <laughs> It's the Chinese table tennis squad. Mm. Maybe the women's table tennis squad comes up to him and he's like, man, y- y'all ain't beating me. Da, da, da. Anyways, it's all bands or whatever, yeah? But the comment goes, so you're telling me the, um, did I say the Chinese table tennis squad? Yeah. USA table tennis squad mm. comes up to him. 
but they're all ch- like Asian um, looking women, right? Of Asian heritage. Comment, guys, you tell me the, the USA table tennis team is just basically the Chinese table tennis team. Because literally oh, the whole gosh. squad oh. was just Asian looking women, bro. I said, golly. Love that man. for them. Are we allowed to laugh at that? What do you mean by that? Because the Argentinian squad were in trouble for saying that the French football squad is just all Africans. Africans? And they yeah, should go back. No, it's a funny th- that they, they should, should go back. back. Go back is the okay, way. Yeah, go back. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me it's check. Like go back is the, the go wait, back wait. is the wild part. <laughs> wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that's why there was uproar. Yeah, that's wild, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so who won that round? Was that you, Carlos? Yeah, that was Carlos. Okay, that yes. was Carlos. Carlos All right, Congratulations, sweet. dog. You're back in business. Lovely. Yeah, yeah. Can you back confirm what, what they said? Um, because, no, I, I literally, I think I was, it was either, it was maybe, the, maybe it was the French team that I was looking at. Um, oh, bro, the French so funny, man. Olympic team or somewhere else. And I was like, yeah, damn, there's, there's just a bunch of Africans on this, on this <laughs> squad, bro. <laughs> what y'all really want to say now? It's, it's interesting, man. Uh, uh, gosh. Find the thing. If it's go back, I hear the anger. Yeah. Nah, if it's go the back, same yeah, thing, if it's the same thing as what literally we just said, I don't think that that's wild, bro. Nah, nah, that's not the same thing as yeah, yeah, as what you. A, bro, because I mean, there was a point in time. I think it was during maybe the the two years ago World. That's sorry, the two turns ago um, World Cup um, when the French team was playing, and it was literally just there was a point in there was a point in time on the team where it was just all African, just all African origin yeah. um, players. And what? I said, yo, <laughs> France. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? What's yeah. going on? They didn't say go back. They said, <laughs> <laughs> they said they play in France, but they're all from Angola. Mm. They, their mom is Nigerian. Their dad is Cameroonian. But on the passport, it says French. Yeah. So that's pretty much what you just said. Yeah. Mm. If they got in trouble for uh, that, I mean, it's, it's an, there was it's a, a bit of transphobia in it yeah, because of Kylian Mbappe's Kylian Mbappe had dated the trans chick. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot about hey. that part there. Damn. Why not? Yeah, well, I mean, if you're going to slap his transphobia in a very fair analysis mm-hmm. of people's heritage, you might get in trouble for that one still. <laughs> but I think that's a fair point to bring out. Like, yo, I, these I countries are looking very different. <laughs> Argentina's a notoriously racist country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only South American country with no black people. How? Oh, jeez. <laughs> jeez. Hey, we can't deny that part. Uh, about yeah, Jerome Argentina was getting well. flamed for that as well. The video mm. talking there. That oh, was, that was days, what we say was facts, though. Yeah. Yo, what now, it'll be interesting to see um, the rest of this Olympics, man. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything else. That was hard, man. I wanted to shout out our love for ambulances very quickly. This is just a random, <laughs> um, yeah. a random observation I've had. I was going to try and make this the throwback at the start to throw back to Japan how we took the ambulance sirens so unserious. <laughs> They just have this very Nino 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 Nino. It sounds like an anime show. I promise you. That's the. I'm not even being like disrespectful. Somebody is a sicker. Somebody is sick. Image is sick. Come on, man. Hey, bro. I saw this amazing thing that was someone was saying like, if you're speaking Japanese and you're not Japanese. Everyone looks at you like you're a racist piece of crap. Yeah. But he's like, I promise you, that's just the way they say words. Because he's like, for example, in Korean, if you say like, I'm going on a road trip, this is how you say it. Yeah. But in Japanese, it's rodotupu. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds like I'm just oh, mocking man. it. <laughs> but that's just how it be sounding, bro. Basketball. Yeah, basketball. <laughs> as, a, on a, as an anime connoisseur, we've just used yeah. what we've heard. Yeah. But remember, the sirens were so unserious, <laughs> dude. Honestly, it was Nino, you know. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> we might save them, we might not. <laughs> yeah, listen to me, man. I, I heard, I got to go sign my when they went past. That's what I heard. That's what I swear. Oh, that's crazy, bro. But, um, Something happened to me. This is just for like random. A couple of days ago, I was driving. I was telling my mom about it. I was driving back home, and then the ambulance is behind me. Yeah. Put in reverse, Terry. They're screaming. The sirens are making loud noise, yeah. lights, and everything, right? And you know, I've realized we have a really high respect for amb- like ambulance yeah, when they're driving in the street. We way. stop and we move yeah. out the way. But I've serious. realized, yeah, we take it serious. I've realized they can make us look a little bit goofy as well sometimes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So <laughs> I'm driving. I see it behind me. Like, okay, it's model Susan, let's do the right thing. Well, let me pull over to the to the right hand side because I saw that it was about to start turning into an island. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't. It was just a little. <laughs> <laughs> it disappeared very quickly. I was actually just in oncoming traffic. Like I ended up just on the other lane. So I slowed down. There's no cars coming. Thank goodness. So I'm just in the other lane, and they're behind me. They stop as well because in their head they're like, "Look at this freaking idiot." We have to save his life. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this freaking idiot that's going into oncoming traffic to let me pass. So I'm literally there for like five seconds, ten seconds, like. <laughs> Guys, you can go, you can go. Go, go, go yeah. 
and they're they're not moving. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna awkwardly come back, <laughs> come back into the lane. So I just came back into the lane. <laughs> bro, that five ten seconds was bro. the difference between life and death, bro. bro. Literally, I just went back into the lane and they're still behind me. I'm like, okay, hey, right? I kept driving, kept driving. Moving yeah. like a fool. Oh. Anyways, they just went into another lane because Ma was pointing something out very clear. And now, yeah, I realized I fumbled. She's like, if anyone was going to go into the oncoming traffic lane, it would have been the ambulance yeah. that should have done that. Yeah, 100%. Instead of me going in there. Anyways, I, we all turned together, whatever. And now there's another set of red lights. So there's two cars already waiting there and they see the ambulance coming as well. It's red. They go. <laughs> <laughs> they go into the intersection <laughs> like, and they're doing, you know the weird one that everyone does on the, the side, slow yeah, weird yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're turning they're like, like this. this. The other people that is green for them are like, what the heck? So they don't go. The Ambers go through. And now the two <laughs> absolute fools that have gone on red are just there in the middle like, what do we do? yeah, I'm just going to finish this turn. And they just, they just went as well. And I was looking at them like, Bro, everyone turns into absolute idiots when yeah, the Ambers yeah. come behind. We, do, we, they don't know, we don't know what we're doing. We don't know where to go. We, we just, just like, get we just out the way. Moves, bro. Yeah. bro, on a ludicrous move, get out the I'll way. I've seen people go on the grass, bro. Dog, oh, climbing yeah. curves, climbing going grass, into people's climbing. front yards, yeah, dog. Yeah, bro, yeah. in the Middle East, <sighs> makes way. They go through, everyone starts everyone falling apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what's happening yeah. in Nigeria. I as always well. say that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever the motorcade or whatever's going through, I say, hey, get behind, get behind. Get good, yeah. Yeah, that was. Oh, that's hilarious. That's a little fun little observation, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We love it. Get out of here or what, man? I think yeah. so. Might be some good games to go watch and catch tonight. So, I mean, tell us what you're keeping up with, what yes. you're watching, who you are rooting for. Hopefully. What's the worst sport at the Olympics? Um, I, yeah. I really have no respect for the shooting. You don't think it's no, hard think to shoot a clay skill, target? Bro. No, okay, see, That's it's because you think that they're shooting a clay target. Or like even a They target? have this big high tech, it's not even like on a trigger. You should watch it. It's the air the air rifle shooting. Okay. Good, yeah. Go watch it afterwards and check it out. I'm I might good. try put a note. I might try put a picture of like what it looks like. Yeah. But it's like these youngins and it's this high tech. It's not a, it's not a thing anymore. It's yeah. like a big hole device. Man, them have a cyborg looking eye yeah, yeah, yeah. lens thing and then they just shoot this like it's not even moving it's just this white paper mm. with the with the, the just target. check it out it, it doesn't look serious because i'm like what exercise do you do at the gym for this one here <laughs> yeah fair. that's just what i wanted to ask because i hear fair. it with the shooting maybe men are doing finger curls yeah to me, you know what i mean mm. or really good stability you have to you know you have to have that i hear it with archery you got to have some good strength mm. even i used to not respect racing properly like the Kind of but racing? I realized these like, like Formula One oh. car racing and that because nah, I was like, bro, they go through but, but these men are doing yeah. very vigorous. Like the neck strength pause is like crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They got good um focus, the grip strength pause again. Yeah, <laughs> year, hey, year two is looking <laughs> shambolic. <laughs> got crazy, bro. Hey, but I just don't know what these done is with the air I, I gotta watch that to see what you saying. Like, I'll, I'll try to find a video after this or insert it here. But it, it was that spot where it, it looks like the horse is doing the creep walk. <laughs> uh, <laughs> equestrian. <laughs> I got that from the Kevin Hart and the Sniff Dog. <laughs> yeah. It in the First of all, like. Yeah, what did you change? Yeah, what did you. <laughs> nah, but. Because we used to live next to a guy that used to train horses in like. like, like, like the prince's horses and stuff mm. like yeah. that, right? And it's like a lot of effort and money and stuff goes into like that level of training. It is it's who, boring for me. I'm not watching here. It. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's like, are you well, giving the medal to the horse? Sport or to and me? I want because I'm looking at the athleticism. No, no, no in the, the same way that a Formula One driver is the athlete. Yes. That's but, different. Yeah, but but because you're have, controlling this. I, that yeah. car's. If, if I sit in a Formula One car, I can press my pedals and go 400 kilometers an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? yeah. We can both do this. We can both sit on a horse nah, and I make it. The same thing. Yeah. Nah, I hear it. But my thing is okay. It's different because it's like the horse. The human sure went labored to train this horse, but yeah. the horse had to do the cognitive learning yeah, yeah, yeah. for this yeah, sport. I hear that you know too, what I mean? Yeah. As, and with the Formula One, the racer had to do the cognitive bro, learning if as well. That's your horse. You know? Just give it instructions on a paper. I'm on the top of the horse. I'm gonna, you know what nah, I mean? Nah, yeah, yeah, nah, nah, dog. That horse is bucking you off. <laughs> <Yo, bro. laughs> hey, this tattoo over here, <laughs> tap, tap, whatever it is. That's it flying you off, bro. And, and then all cripple off on you, bro. <laughs> nah, no, you don't want it. What sports? Let me look at this. Yeah, what other sports? Yeah, they've got breaking as a sport in there now. Uh, I respect. Uh, it. I, I don't know because you can always add like a style I don't or. Know a if I look different... at it as a sport though, it's yeah. So I think that's my problem. Like. 
Yeah, it's interesting, man. It's very interesting what we got in there. I think speed walking again. I find oh, that yeah. just as funny as a sport too. All right, I'll that Bro, I love it when they get disqualified. They come in the middle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> disqualified. I'm like, well, there, I mean, there's signs for it, like in yeah, terms of you, you always have to way. have a, you have to walk yeah. a certain way. You, you always have to have a certain, way, yeah. certain type of connection to the floor, mm. whatever, whatever. Because the but, moment you're not doing it right, yeah. The, hey, man, nah, but heaps, yeah. there's a lot, a lot of sports. Check it out. Root for your country again, for real. Let us know who. You're rooting for maybe, yeah, your country, how they're doing. Put some predictions in. Mm. First, second, third, who we're thinking is going to take um, take home the most medals and whatnot. Um, mm. And let us know how you think South Sudan's going to go too. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nice game. Take it all good. the way, man. Thank you for joining us for another episode. We'll catch you guys next week. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>